Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I'd like to remind you to enjoy the ride. Many times along our way, we can get caught up by how things should be, how things are going to be, even how things are. But we can get so bogged down in those perspectives that we zero in instead of stepping away. By stepping away, I mean detaching as much as possible, stepping back and viewing the whole situation or environment from afar. In doing so, we remove the, the emotional attachment that we have to certain situations. And truthfully in doing so, it gives us a little bit of time to, to process. When you do have this time to process, you can see the scene for what it is. And seeing the scene for what it is, you begin to understand the role that you play in the scene. Now this, I don't know how clear I can get this message across, but I'll do my best. The ability to understand where you are in the moment is very helpful. Knowing who you are in the moment. Knowing who you are in interaction. See, there have been times that I can be in, let's say, a conversation with the individual. And they will be telling me a story. And they're perspective or version of the story is so vivid I can witness them mentally go back to that place we all do it I've caught myself doing it as well but when we witness these things happening it can be difficult to pull somebody out of that that space out of that scene and bring them back to the present and taking it back to even ourselves. When we're in certain situations, we may respond or react in a way that is not uh, beneficial to the outcome that we desire. Those would be moments where we mentally we're taken to another place or went to another place because it's our choice, right? And that's where habits come in because it can be a habit of making a choice to go to a certain place mentally, but it doesn't have to be that. It's not about fixing everything, y'all. It's one thing at a time. One thing at a time. And allowing ourselves to step back and not be so lost in certain moments that we could probably we could properly acknowledge things as they are in that moment meaning at one point in time certain things were important to me certain ideas and beliefs I held very strongly and when I mentally go back to that place it's no longer comfortable for me. At one point it was. It was not only all I knew, it was all I accepted. But through time along the journey, experience, you begin to see that certain aspects or perspectives that you used to take on no longer serve you, no longer benefit you. They're not worth holding on to. Like souvenirs. Some are important, some are not. You keep what you like, you keep what's important, and you move on. Now, I found that aspect to be very interesting as far as my own journey. Because in picking up new perspectives and shedding old, 
I allow myself to see myself differently. But all of that began. The choices and change began when I took a step back. When I took a step back, I honestly viewed what I believed to be my identity. When I took my best attempts to describe myself from a stranger's point of view, from a friend's point of view, from a family member's point of view. And I'm not doing this in the in the physical realm. I have, but when when it was really helpful for myself, I did it all internally. I stepped away and I viewed situations from afar. I not only began to see patterns within myself and others, but I also began to understand why I was making those choices, why I was doing those things. And simply knowing that, I found that the the why was the power. That was the power I was giving away. So I took it back. I may not know what my next choice is going to be, but I know what my choice will not be. Because I've seen that story, I've seen that scene play out time and time again. Now, when we make these different choices or we step back and we're able to view from afar and see, okay, we're going to maneuver a different way going forward. It's not to say that it's always going to be better, but it will be different. And in those different situations, we begin to see ourselves more, learn ourselves more learn the reality that we have created more. We learn others more because we're forced to be more alert. We're forced to step outside of that comfort zone that we've known and held so near and dear. And all these things are okay, right? It's part of the process. Never, never any evolution. But knowing that, knowing that we can change it is the most powerful, beautiful aspect. I mean, it truly is. It doesn't matter what people say about you, no matter what they think about you, because they're living in their own world too, right? I think the greatest aspect of a, exploring yourself along the way and not simply uh, giving away your power is it allows you to keep an open heart. You got an open heart. It's a beautiful thing. It also allows you space to open your mind. The more you open your mind, you can you can build a different relationship with people, places, ideas, what have you. Because the, ex the expansion of yourself is, I mean, it's connected to all the perspectives that you have, that we have. There's no getting around that. There's a, there's a case, there's an interview I seen like five, five, six years ago. They really, uh, they really helped me grasp, grasp this idea of expanding your mind. There was this guy in prison. We have been in prison since he was a kid for, uh, I don't know, some charge. And, uh, it was interesting seeing who he had become because in him talking about his journey up to that point, he talked about how his his uh, limited vocabulary, that's what it was. His limited vocabulary breeded a certain kind of uh, aggression or frustration in him. I'm not saying that if you have a large vocabulary, you're better or any of that. No. Nah. But what he was telling us during the interview was the more... 
I learned about words, the more I was able to comprehend the magnitude of my action. I'm not talking about going uh, the, the route of etymology, which is, I mean, that's another great topic. But he simply understood that he had emotions and feelings and issues within him that he didn't know how to deal with because he didn't even understand how to articulate them. And once in jail, he began to educate himself. And the more his vocabulary expanded, the more he was able to grasp the understanding of his actions. Then he was able to truly understand why the ramifications for his actions were as they were. He wasn't able to grasp that before. That's for myself. That was so profound. It doesn't mean that uh, well-educated people aren't criminals. Ah, uh, it's none of that. It's understanding that a limitation within him gave an understanding that was so small that he didn't question it. And then he was exposed to another situation, and that is what changed everything. He was exposed to another way to articulate himself or expand his perspective, and that was what allowed him to be able to step back and in hindsight, understand what was happening with himself. With that said, the Simply Food for Thought for the day, y'all. Uh, I want to take this moment to thank any and everyone who even listens to a portion of some of these messages. If it helps at least one, it's worth it all. Until next time, y'all. Smile along the way.